Hello Scrappy friends, uh, today I would like to show you how to create a simple uh, mini album using uh, tags and uh, big ephemera pieces included in uh, many collections. This one is from the Yellow Door by uh, Fancy Pants and uh, you know I had this idea to create this album when I was going through this set of uh, tags and labels and I thought well they are quite big not good for mini album for a layout let's make a mini album and there are a few bigger ones so I thought that will be a great album base and I picked those uh, for uh, you know the starting of my album look they all have holes already so it will be easy to just tie them together and they have funny shapes not everyone uh, everything has the same shape so it will be just a perfect messy mini album and i will also pick some of uh, the elements from uh, ephemera pieces oh i like this tag and this one is big also and i will add maybe this flower like uh, divider or something like that but it's a uh, job for later and this collection also contains this uh, sheet of paper you can cut into pieces and i am thinking about cutting out this piece um, because it's quite big and it will be good for uh, this size of mini album so uh let me cut it in part oh here is some other fun circle i printed my pictures small I have a full uh, walk uh, here on the pictures uh, and I don't know how many pictures do I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen 23 pictures so it's enough for a mini album and I will cut this into parts I will check what else can be a good um, piece for a mini apple. But I uh, think I will start with this element. And of course, I will be able to add uh, something more later. And okay, I don't like this kitchen fall, so I will cut it out. And now I have another ephemera all i need to do is to add a hole in the upper side and now i will check if i have enough pages to complete this album and there i will show you a fun trick and you can use when you are planning the mini album maybe some of you already know it i am taking paper clips or something that is not you know permanent and you can easily unattach it and I have all the tags here. I will uh, group them on the desk, not group, spread them on the desk. And they are all the bases of my mini album. And okay, I have to decide which one will be the cover. And I think this one will be the cover because, you know, it already have a date and it's easy to add a title. So this will be a cover. And I'm thinking right now, because the tags uh, are white on one side and they have um, a texture on the other side. So I'm thinking if I should make this album in both sides or only the one side, uh, maybe only the one side. Usually I do the both, so maybe it will be a nice uh, change. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so let me check what kind of pictures I have. I have some nature with no person included. And I have some pictures of my daughter, Maya. And I will group them, you know, to have some kind of a, a theme for the pages of the album. And this is from the same moment another nature and this one so i can add three of them on one page uh, this one will be a set of two this will be a set and i have maya eating apple i have some apple another eating picture here and some more fall pictures okay so 
I will group those three pictures together and I will try to place them all in one page. So I will need a big page. Maybe this one. Yeah, this one will be good. And uh, I will be also, you know, not keeping the shape of the album. So some of the pictures will just pick out uh, from the edges. So this will go here. And this is why you need a paper clip to temporarily attach the pictures so they will not fall out and you, all be, you won't be lost or what should go where. Okay, so I have a day album date and I'm thinking about adding some full picture on the cover. It's not something I usually do, but it's a full album and I thought maybe or no, no, <laughs> let's be traditional. Okay, so uh, do I have some smaller packs here? Maybe this one. This looks good for a picture like this. Okay, so I will use a paper clip to attach it. And those two pictures, I think they will go here. And, and what's more, those two pictures can go here, I think. You know, it's only a temporary thing, so you can still uh, mix and match the pictures, you know, change the direction and stuff like that. And this small photo will go here. It's a thankful pen, but I do not need this to show up. Uh, and... This one I think I will leave just like it is. Let me check the other tags. Okay. This one is small. Oh, this one is quite big. So this will be good for for this picture. I love this picture, Maya picking from between the wood planks. Okay, and I still have I will move the field one up. Mm, I am thinking, thinking, thinking. I don't want to add too many pictures. Some of them may not be used at all, I think. I really love those two on this blue one. Okay, so I have those left and those pictures too. I like this picture here. And... Hello. Okay, I will just cover the chilly day because it wasn't that chilly day. So this one goes here. Okay, so it's decided I will use one side album only. Um, I will use those two here because she's eating an apple and it's kind of a serious. Okay. So I have those pictures left. Let me check if I have something bigger here and that I can change into the uh, album page. This A letter, maybe. Yeah, this letter will be good because I will not use single A, so I can cover it with something. Um, what I can use for here, maybe this. Uh, this picture okay so I just need to add a hole in this page and what we have here I will use almost entire pack of uh, of packs for this one but it's good because I do not use those often in the layouts or cards it's only in more for a you know background and this one is quite big and it will match this picture well, so I will cut it out uh, from this paper sheet. I have a really, really old paper trimmer. It, ha it is like, uh, I don't know, eight, nine years old. It's... <laughs> dirty and ugly but I'm still using it and I prefer it better than my uh, you know guillotine 
because it's smaller and it's easier to you know put it on the desk and uh, remove it uh, and put it back it's from woodware craft collection finger guard trimmer i don't know if they make them in more but i don't think so okay so this is uh, what i have left i think i wanted to add this picture here okay and i have this picture here the flower birds and um, i have this picture and three more photos mm -hmm. I think I will just not use this one and I will be covered with all the pictures. So I will need three more uh, paper clips and uh, I already have, you know, like the main um, shape of my album. I will have to uh, connect the pages and there is another, uh, you know, like I'm not deciding yet, but I was thinking about connecting them with this string instead of an album ring. I am not sure it will be a good idea, but I can do it. And then if I'm not happy, I can, you know, replace it with the free, with the ring. But first I will start with the ring. It will be easier to open it and close. And thanks to that, I will not, you know, like uh, change the direction not the direction change the you know the order of the pages okay so i have a ring i will need uh, i will need my uh, big bite to make holes uh, in the pages that doesn't have them okay so this is the cover and First page, first page, first page. We will start with some fall pictures. So maybe, maybe this one. And then I will need something bigger with Maya. I like this page, but it doesn't have a hole, so I need to make one. Um, I could use a ruler to, you know, <laughs> To make it exactly in the middle but I am too lazy so I did it by eyeballing it's not exactly straight but who cares and then I can add something smaller maybe something smaller like this tag and then something bigger once again like this one and maybe the square one um, something smaller once again something bigger like this one once again I'm making a hole by eyeballing but the birds help me okay a tag some other shape let's this together um, and then maybe this one and something smaller I will leave it uh, till uh, the last page, maybe. Maybe I should add, you know, like a blank page. I'm not sure. Okay, this and this will have a hole here. And this one also need a hole. Yeah, so this is it. This is the order I want to keep in this album and look how cute it's already looking. I know <laughs> all the blue uh, paper clips, but uh, it will have some fun shape. And now it's time to start embellishing. Yeah, base is ready, pictures are ready. So let the fun begin. I will be back to you in a second. I just need to go to drink some. Okay, I am back. I sped up the process like four times and I didn't cut out any part of it. So you will see it in 15 minutes. Uh, so it means it lasted like uh, about an hour. 
uh, with a little break uh, because I had to handle my kids. I am not sure if I will be able, uh, you know, to talk for the upcoming 15 minutes uh, of this video because, you know, it's really nothing complicated here to uh, explain or uh, you can easily follow me. If you don't like uh, voiceovers, just mute me, play your favorite music and just see how I am abolishing this page. Uh, if you like me talking, <laughs> just listen. I will try not to mumble too much and, you know, try to think of something, uh, something exciting I can tell you for those 15 minutes. Uh, at first, I was going to make a totally live video, so uh, each part was supposed to be, you know, like a live video. But, well, life happens. Uh, I didn't manage to uh, record everything before my kids came out from uh, school. And after that, I wasn't able, you know, to focus on um, scrapbooking and uh, talking what I am doing. Uh, my kids uh, came here to my craft room all the time, asking questions, you know, trying to help me. So uh, the only way I can do this was to scrapbook and then record the voiceover later. Uh, as you can see, the pages are very, very fast to do. I have um, all the materials I need on the desk, so I'm not losing any time for going through my stash and uh, looking for elements I can use. Uh, and this is something always takes me the most time. Well, it took me the most time in the past when I, uh, you know, didn't have my uh, routine about making mini albums. But after many, many of them, I found out that making a kit is always the best solution. So uh, before I start working, if I'm not working with one collection only like in this case, uh, I just take my stash, uh, search for elements that can match my page and I put them on my desk and then I only, you know, dig uh, between those elements. I do not uh, look for anything more. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe an alphabet if uh, you know I had an idea for a title or something like that. I do not put out the alphabets before uh, because they take a lot of space on desk, mostly ephemera and stickers. And uh, I just work with what I have on hand. I also never embellish the cover. First I start with uh, all the pages and then I embellish the cover with the leftovers. Um, with this kind of mini album where I only embellish one side, which doesn't happen a lot to me. I usually try to, you know, use up all the space available. So I decorate both sides of every page, but this time I didn't. So uh, I could use uh, like uh, staples to adhere elements because I wasn't afraid about this other side. If I wasn't lazy, <laughs> I would probably use stitching too, but uh, well, laziness is a one reason, and the second reason is that my sewing machine doesn't want to sew through the pictures that I print at home. I think that the paper for the ink printers is uh, kind of, a, I don't know, sticky. So, you know, this plastic element in the sewing machine doesn't want to, you know, run smoothly like over the paper. So uh, I'm trying not to use a sewing machine when it comes to pictures because it's, you know, it's sewing in one spot. It doesn't move uh, the paper. And uh, and what I was going to say... Oh, okay. <laughs> so I, I use tables. Uh, if you have those decorative ones with different colors, I don't know, I think Tim Holt does smaller staplers and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, they will also be kind of an embellishment for the page. Each page in this album has a different shape. Uh, there is no two the same pages uh, in this mini. So each page uh, has its own idea for decoration. But, you know, I'm keeping it like a similar with every page. Uh, I am not over embellishing. Embellishing, I'm adding the picture, usually 
one layer of some ephemera or something like this behind the picture. I'm also adding a pieces of cardboard uh, to add dimension to my page. You can use 3D foam squares too, but I have foam squares that have two millimeters um, thickness and uh, the cardboard is only one millimeter and it's much faster to adhere it to the page. So I'm deciding to just <laughs> go with it. Uh, I am also mixing some 3D foam squares for the elements that overlay the pictures and uh, I decided to keep some of those blue kind of a minty uh, minty paper clips that I used to temporarily uh, adhere uh, photos to the pages because I thought I thought that they look nice and you know I kind of <laughs> get used to them uh, and uh, you know they look nice in this album uh, so I decided to leave some of them. Mm, uh, as you can see, I am not over embellishing the tags because I still want some of them to be visible from beneath the pictures. And uh, I have some uh, stickers with uh, words, some, you know, like strips, but I'm also adding... Um, adding uh, stamps from this rotary stamp. I am not sure which uh, collection or designer it is because I have plenty of them and I didn't check. I also digged for uh, some dough, no dig, dough, dough, whatever, <laughs> for some ribbons that will match uh, the fall theme. And um, I'm adding them here and there, creating kind of a loop uh, and hiding it uh, behind the picture or something like that. Uh, and it gives a nice texture to the page. Uh, some of the pictures I glued are glued down directly to the tag and some of them are glued with a piece of cardboard. So I have like a two steps of dimension on uh, the page and um, Remember not to adhere the pictures, especially the ones printed at home with the ink printer with a regular glue. Use some uh, archival friendly adhesive. I am using a double sided tape because otherwise the pictures might, you know, like lose the colors in the spots where you use the glue because the glue has an acid inside so it can change the colors. Of course, it will not happen like right away. It will happen in time. But when it comes to mini albums, we want to hold them like forever to have them as a memory for our <laughs> grandchildren, at least maybe, you know, for a grand, 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 grandchildren and have uh, the scrapbooks displayed in a museum. So uh, we want them to last as long as possible. That's why we should, you know, check if our uh, adhesive is archival free before we will glue it down to the picture. It doesn't bother the papers, like, you know, maybe because the type of the printing photo paper or something like that, but it's important to, you know, to pay attention to this. Mm, so, as you can see, pages just come out so, so quickly. I have some uh, elements fussy cut from one of the papers, and those are the acorns um, from this uh, The Yellow Door collection. But most of them are just ephemera pieces or the pieces that are cut out from uh, this paper that has um, uh, those, you know, elements to cut out. There is one uh, in this collection, so I cut it out into the pieces and now I'm using it as a layers uh, in my page. Um, I really like embellishing <laughs> the pictures with the tiny words uh, because it's a really fast and nice way to, you know, describe the photo. But uh, in my case, they are mostly the same pictures, so I'm not wo worrying about describing the photo in some, you know, meaningful way, just a lovely girl, lovely day, beautiful autumn or something like that. But you can definitely use something more meaningful uh, if you want to, if you have a different theme uh, for your page. And as you can see in this page, I left the word hello 
uh, I don't remember what was behind it, but uh, the hello is enough uh, to describe this picture. And I'm almost done with embellishing all the pages. Um, I have like three maybe uh, of them left. And after I will finish them, I will come back to decorate the cover. Um, and uh, in this case, I'm trying to, you know, hide the A letter because uh, it, I didn't want it to pick out like only in a piece because it will not have uh, any sense. Uh, so the best way was just to cover it and use the tag as a base because of the colors that surround the lighter A. And this is the moment where I am fussy cutting acorns. Uh, I also use the paper from 6x6 paper pad. So um, I have bigger and smaller acorns because papers in 6x6 paper pad are just downsized papers uh, from 12x12 12 12, uh, size. So uh, you have everything like a half smaller than in the bigger papers. Uh, when it comes to making an album where elements stick out from the page, just be careful to not to, you know, adhere glue to the elements that can stick out because they will glue together with other pages and you don't want that just uh, apply the glue on the areas where you are sure it will be glued down to the layer that is beneath the photo and it also um, means that if you are gluing the pictures just adhere the glue on the places that will not uh, pick out from the page uh, if you like you know over glued uh, with uh, double sided tape just gently rub it with your finger and it will uh, like uh, let go I would say you know um, do not try to rip it off just rub it and I think it's the best way to get rid of the uh, of the uh, free of the double sided uh, tape I'm using mostly the Yellow Door collection by Fancy Pants, but I like adding uh, like, you know, dimensional elements. Uh, so I'm adding the puffy stickers from Pink First Studio Mix Number no. 2 collection. They are hard in different colors and they match every collection I have. And I, it's like a second packaging I am using uh, right now. Uh, and uh, this, those are always my favorite embellishments because, you know, uh, they are so versatile and there are plenty of them. They don't, does not cost a lot, so, you know, everyone can afford them. Um, I always, you know, kind of... Uh, <laughs> Mm, kind of a, a chip out, I don't know if it's a good word, for uh, the bows and the pompons from like Maggie Holmes collections because they usually cost like uh, $6 for four elements, which I think it's a lot uh, because you just glue it down for two in four projects and that's it you don't have any more of them but those uh puffy hearts you know are very versatile and you can film many projects with them and this is the part when i where i am decorating the cover i had this kind of a bobby pin uh with a dog i have it for years this was included in one of the uh hip kit club kits and i thought that it's a good <laughs> you know good time to finally use it uh it's cute and my daughter is cute and has this fall color so yeah i i decided to go with it and I'm adding a title. It will be a fall day. I used um, puffy stickers from Whimsical Collection by Paige Evans. They are they are also very versatile. And I'm going to purchase a second sheet just, <laughs> you know, for the future projects because I don't want to run out of them uh, too fast. And uh, my decoration of the cover is really simple. I am using the things that lies on the desk, so I'm not worrying about, you know, searching, trying to match things. Usually when I'm already tired with the album, the cover comes really quickly and simple because I don't want to over embellish it. I don't have time to 
time well not a time i don't have a, you know a stamina <laughs> uh to uh, scrap anything uh, more so i try to keep it fast and simple and i think it's a really really good solution uh, for everyone who feels that creating a mini album is just too much work and they are afraid that they will not be able to you know finish it uh, or they are the masters of phds so this is the best idea all my pages are done and uh, there is something i like to do is to go back to each page and try to add some small embellishments like uh, enamel dots like puppy stickers you know something like that each page uh, i look at it and i think is it empty or it's already enough and i'm just you know thinking about elements i can add and um oh this is the the thing I told you about, I had a sticker picking uh, from um, behind the layer and it glued with the second uh, page. So I'm adding a piece of scrapbooking paper uh, to, you know, seal it <laughs> so it will no longer be sticky. I think you have, if you have this uh, tool to unstick the stickness from the stickers, which I forgot how it's named, you can easily use it. I don't have it uh, and uh, I think it's a baby powder base thing uh, but I do not have it so uh, I have to rely on um, very primitive uh, solutions like gluing down the paper and uh, I thought that there is still something on the cover uh, missing so I added this um, a yellow bow and now this there is something I always do with pages like this I embellish um, the ring of the album you know I add tassels or some ribbon or a bow, something like that to just hang and create kind of a homey, I don't know, cozy feeling. And so I added the tassel. The tassel is from, um, from, from Snow and Cocoa collection by Crit Paper. And I will also add a bow, but I don't think I recorded it uh, into this video. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Don't forget to check the description box for all the links. Bye bye.